People have been asking in the comments if 700D can record 4K videos. I had to find a way. I went out to research this topic. It took so long, literally like five seconds of Googling. That's why I got a live pro tip when it comes to Magic Lantern. It won't save your life. It won't make you instantly rich or get a girlfriend, but it will allow you to record 4K videos of the timeless variety. So it's not really 4K videos, but it's a time-lapse 4K videos. It's one of those really cool features. Most common way that I see people shoot time-lapses is when they leave the camera in video recording mode for a while and then they speed up the footage in post. I won't shame people for using this method and it's usually easy and you get the message of passing time across anyway, so it doesn't matter. But do you want to have a professional smooth looking time-lapse recorded using an older camera for example 700d and they want to capture it in 4k it's possible and i will teach you how to do it my way or i mean it's it's normal way but i make it a little bit easier at the end to edit it so let's see a proper way to record a time-lapse would be to use an intervalometer in my opinion they're expensive and bulky it's simply a device that triggers your shutter button after a set interval of time. It should be easy to program and implement that into your camera. Not including this feature into a DSLR camera is just mean. So, how do we do it without an intervalometer? That's why Magic Lantern is a must. You can easily set your camera to take pictures every three seconds or whatever time you want. You can even increase your exposure time to take pictures every 20 seconds. The result will be silky smooth time-lapse in 4K. Usually what you do is you import the pictures into Lightroom or similar program, you edit them, you color grade them, and then you import the pictures into After Effects or some other editing program, and then you make a video out of it. That's how it results in being a time-lapse. There are even programs out there specifically made to accommodate for time-lapses. They can even smooth out exposures between pictures. Okay, so this is how I do it. I simply import all the raw pictures in DaVinci Resolve and the program recognizes it as a sequence and then you process to edit the video as any other raw video. Ta-da! Problem solved! It works well, but this method has its problems. For some reason, exposure changes when using optimized media with ACES color space. I only seen this behavior specifically with CR2 files, but it makes grading a bit more impossible on slow computers. If you don't need to optimize media, then it works perfectly. Do you want to know another cool feature of Magic Lantern? extra features, extra segment. The cool thing in Magic Lantern that you can also do is bracketing. I mean, you can do bracketing in normal cameras as well, but you can do more brackets. You can set up your camera to automatically take pictures with different exposures. You can choose if you want to over or under expose with different stop intervals between images and different amounts of images. It gives you control over how to expose your pictures. That's how you take HDR pictures. Yeah, usually how you make HDR images is that you select three images with different exposures, then you right click in Lightroom, then you choose HDR, make it an HDR picture. But what if you want to make HDR time-lapse? Go ahead, set up bracketing and intervalometer at the same time. There are also programs that can handle HDR batching processing for you if you don't want to manually click on combine to HDR in Lightroom. But you can also divide pictures by exposure, import each picture as video sequence in DaVinci, add all of them together with the brightest at the top and the darkest at the bottom. You want to keep highlight information from underexposed clips and you want to keep shadow information from overexposed clips. To do so, just use add alpha output node so that alpha follows along to the edit tab. In the edit tab, you can combine all exposures into one clip using compound clip. And now you're free to grade your shots however you want. That's my whole cool tutorial on what you can do with Magic Lantern. Thank you guys for subscribing, it means a lot. Uh, I still cannot believe that there's 
like 400 people press the like subscribe button